Hello and welcome back to Love Letters, a Universal Sound. And I'm Deborah Washington, your host. And today, we're going to talk about conscience. What does the word mean to you? Conscious, the word conscience means when you think about something that's well thought out before you do it. You understand right and wrong and you think far ahead instead of being spontaneous, you think if I'm, if I on the telephone, and I'm texting, and I'm driving, I can have an accident. And if I have an accident, I can get hurt, and my family will be devastated. That's what somebody's conscious, they think that far ahead. They think about, they can lose their license, they can even get a ticket, lose their license, get a ticket, and possibly go to jail. It depends on who get hurt. You, pre- you prevent trouble from coming your way. Unconsciousness. If you're unconscious, you're not even thinking about nothing. You're just spontaneous. You're just moving like you in a trance and hope you can get away with driving, texting, drinking, on the phone, looking at the thing, looking at your screen and everything while you're driving and you have some drink in you too. You're not even thinking about what if you cause an accident. What if you hit that dog? How it hurts you, the regret. You're not thinking about none of that because you're walking around unconscious. Let me tell you a story uh, in the Bible. I like the King James Version. I'm going to talk about, I'm going to tell you why I like the King James Version. Because I just, uh, I like the wording and I like the accuracy of this. It's not like translated a whole lot. That's why I like it. But I'm going to talk about two stories in the Bible. Uh, One person, Joseph who was very conscious. He was the son of Jacob, the grandson. Jacob was the grandson of Abraham. Joseph's mother was named Rachel. And she had, Joseph had a brother named Benjamin. And Rachel had a sister that had children by Jacob. It was 12, 12 brothers. And they was jealous of Joseph. Joseph had was full of love and honest. And God spoke to him all the time through a dream. And he told his brother that one day you all will serve me. The brother didn't like that. He was his favorite son, his dad, favorite son by the woman that he loved most, Rachel. And the other brothers was jealous. So they put him down into a pit. 
And they wanted to kill him, but they didn't want the dad to know it that way. So he sold his brother. But his brother always was conscious of his family. He grew up to be one of the greatest people in that area, in that, in that area. King showed favor because he was had the ability to interpret dreams. And the king let him rule and control everything because he told the king about a dream that it would be seven years of famine and that he should store up all the wheat and all the everything so they would not starve to death. But my point about being conscious is that Joseph, even though his brothers was very mean to him, it says in the book of Genesis chapter 45, that he forgave his brothers and still helped him because he always thought about his dad, his young brother, Benjamin, and the whole family. He was full of love. And he was conscious because he knew if he didn't help them, they would starve to death. And he overlooked, he didn't let the hatred and the jealousy that they felt towards him to interfere in the decision to save their life and the life of many people that live there. Unconscious. What does that mean to be unconscious in the Bible? Let's take a look at another story. Judas. Do you remember Judas? He was one of the 12 disciples that walked with Jesus Christ. He's seen Jesus do all kinds of wonderful things. And he wanted the Lord thy God to use what he came here to for and let people know that he is almighty. But Judas wanted him to use that like he's a magician or use his powers to control the people that lived at that time. So he went to the haters, the Pharisees and the Sadducees that believe different. Some of them believe that there's no afterlife, there's nothing. And he sold information to them for 30 pieces of silver. He was walking unconscious because he just figured that Jesus would, could disappear and get himself out of that. But he ended up having great regrets because he knew that he was selling our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for 30 pieces of silver. And he had so much regrets because he wasn't thinking that he gave the money back. And the priest in that time said, oh no, we're not going to let you live. So Judas had great regrets And it says in the scripture that he hung himself. But if you look deep enough, he had help because they was not going to let him tell the truth that they was a part of any kind of way of selling Jesus to be crucified. So they hung Judas. 
but they helped him out to make sure. They cut him from his chest all the way down, and he debout, they debouted him. He did not kill himself. He had help. I wrote another song, and it's called Jesus Knows, For the Bible Tells Me So. So you say no one loves you, and you say they just don't care. So you're going to do whatever it takes to please you. Hanging out with your so-called friends and hanging to the very end. Watch out. There's trouble not far behind you. When you use your consciousness, when you're conscious, you already know that they're really not your friends. I don't care how bored you get. You know if you hang around them long enough, then trouble is coming. So the song talks about that. Jesus knows. We love to hear from you. Please like, subscribe, comment, and don't forget to press that notification button so you can be notified every time we upload. Thank you.